Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel, Epic Nerdy Mukbang. I'm Santos. And I'm Madison. And today we're bringing you Puerto Rican food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So welcome back. So yes, as we said before, we're gonna make Puerto Rican food. We're not making Puerto Rican food. We did make homemade Puerto Rican food and we want to show you. And what we have here is something called biste encebollado with arroz con habichuelas and some platanos. So, maduros, platanos, maduros. So basically, what does that mean? What does that mean, Maddie? I have no clue. Chicken <laughs> <Okay>. rice. <laughs> Right. So we have steak and onions. Um, so there's it's onions that are that have been uh, cooked in like a vinegar sauce with uh, like lots lots of onions. Um, the rice is white rice. Um, the beans are just like homemade beans with potatoes. And then over here, these are sweet plantains. So it kind of gives it like a a sweeter flavor than what your regular like plantain chips. Yes. Mm -hmm. So this is actually Maddie's first time trying biste and, and cebollado. I can't even say the word. <laughs> um, she's tried arroz con habichuelas before, uh, but this is also her first time trying the platanos maduros. She's had the regular plantains before. So this is going to be experience. So let's, 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 let's get in. <laughs> okay. So where do you want to start? Serve the beef, I guess. Okay. <laughs> We're going to start out with biste. So, if you guys don't know, biste in Spanish, well, in oh, English translates. You don't even need them. <laughs> you don't even it need just falls apart. So, this is the inside of the biste, which. Um... <laughs> it's okay. I'm just going to dig into it. Oh my gosh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's so tender, it just falls apart. Mm-hmm. So, biste is steak in English. Mm -hmm. I forgot what the actual name, like, what the actual name of it is. It's like, oh, cube steak. It's cube steak. Um, and you marinate it in a vinegar sauce. Um, and then you add spices. And then at the end, you add the onions, so that way they're still kind of soft. Mm. <laughs> so, cheers. You like it for real? This is delicious. <laughs> this is really good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> this is something my mom used to make with just white rice. So we would make the steaks with the onions and then we just put the white rice over it. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. So beans, you, beans and rice, you know. Mm -hmm. So that's this one over here. We kind of give you a little plate too for you guys to try as well. So you guys can get a visual of what we're eating. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. So in the steak itself, um, I'm not going to tell you all the ingredients, but if you guys want a video, let us know. Mm -hmm. But I marinated the steak in apple cider vinegar, um, as well as Miss Cooking Darling recommended this vinegar, the Killick sauce. <laughs> so it's a mixture of both. Mm -hmm. uh, and then like adobo, sazon, oregano, salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder. Mm. And olive oil. Mm -hmm. And you marinate it. <laughs> you marinate it for like an hour or two. And then you just cook it on the stove <laughs> with, some water, with a little bit of water to give it a little bit more juice. <laughs> and yeah, that's it. Yeah. And onions, add onions at almost like 15 minutes. I do it for like 40 minutes because I want the uh, the steak to be tender. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the interesting thing about this too, since it's already, since it's a cube steak, it's already tenderized mm -hmm. on top of being marinated in um, vinegar. Mm -hmm. It just falls apart. Literally. Okay. <coughs> oh, shit. It's like butter. <laughs> and there it is. It's like no But just a fork. Oh shit! Oh, wait. oh snap! Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wash out with my knife. Do you see how I was holding it like this? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Serious colors on the jeez. Hmm. So try the rice. Try the rice. Well, you've had already had rice and beans mm -hmm. before. 
So yes, in Puerto Rican cooking, beans are called habichuelas. Mm. So, in case you guys are wondering. Mm. Mm. So for the rice, we just added a little bit of salt to the rice, a little bit of olive oil, just cooking well, right, plain white rice. And then for the beans, these are pinto beans. Ooh. Yeah, pinto beans. And then of course I added my, um, <laughs> my Hispanic seasonings. So there's sofrito, there's garlic. Oh, if you don't know what sofrito is, it's like a mixture of green peppers, cilantro, something called culantro, which is like a stronger cilantro flavor. Mm. It's got um, onions, did I say garlic? Garlic, green peppers, and you blend it all uh, in a blender with a little bit of water. And that kind of gives you your sofrito. Mm. Yeah. And then you can add that. You can freeze it uh, and then add it later on to like different um, stuff. It's like a marinade. Mm -hmm. And then I use vinegar. Um, and yeah, other stuff too, but I'm not going to give away everything. <laughs> and then I also add potatoes to it. You can add like bacon. Some people add like pieces of ham to it. Mm. Some people add like whole pieces of cilantro. Ooh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pumpkin, calabaza. Mm -hmm. Like sweet, like a little bit. Or like, I forgot what it's called, but you're like, what's that? Pumpkin that's like green on the outside, but orange on the inside. I have no clue. It's like this big. Gourd. A gourd, yeah. Unless <laughs> it has a little sweetness to it. You can add that to this too, to the beans. What do you think? It's so good. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry, but you can't beat a home cooked meal. No, you can't. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. I love how you're like, we're just sitting here right here just eating. <laughs> it's oh, just, yeah. It's so good. I have nothing else to say. <laughs> it's just that good. And then. These are the plantains, so sweet plantains. So like, if you buy plantains and you let them sit for a while, they start turning brown. Mm -hmm. And don't worry, they're not, like, there's nothing bad about them. It just means that they're, they've caramel or they've um, ripened. Mm -hmm. And they've ripened enough where they start to become sweet. And when they become sweet, they look like this. So, cheers. You can try it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And then the inside looks like that. It's we delicious. actually we actually cut up these sit for a little bit longer to make them like brown brown, but we let them sit like halfway. Mm. But yeah, mm, good, right? Mm. Mm. It's like a natural sweetness, so you don't even have to add any sugar or anything. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. Which are these back here? And then I don't know if you can see it, but so. In Puerto Rican cooking, we have something called bagao, which is like the bottom of the the rice where all the, like the sticky part, sticky part is the rice. Uh, we usually eat that too. It's by preference. Though. Some people don't like bagao, but I remember when Maddie first tried tried it. Uh, I loved it. She, yeah, she did. She loved it. Mm. Honestly, the only thing missing right now is coquito. Mm. <laughs> so funny we we have work today so we're trying to do this before work mm. Mm. i'm telling you that's the thing about puerto rican food in general it's just so rich with flavor <laughs> right? yeah it's true um we actually made this yesterday uh, we wanted to film this today but <laughs> we didn't we were like, no, we'll, we'll wait till the next day. But the thing is, with Puerto Rican food, well, at least with this food, if you let it sit overnight, it tastes better the next day. <laughs> right. <laughs> mm-hmm. Same thing goes for, like, tacos and burritos. Holy cow. Mm -hmm. If you have a homemade taco mix, it tastes better the next day. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Yeah. That's why we wanted to like plate it up so you guys can see. But also like know like if you ever want to go somewhere to order Puerto Rican food, what it's gonna look like uh, and what to order. So this is biste, biste encebollado or biste encebollado. <laughs> and the reason I say biste encebollado because in Puerto Rican speaks, Puerto Rican speak. Uh, in our Spanish. accent, <laughs> in our accent, we some, tend to drop consonants and vowels sometimes. So. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Mm. Mm. Trying to catch up. Mm. Mm. So this has like a like a balance of like sour, like a sour flavor, like a umami and like meaty flavor mm -hmm. from from the um, bistec. The rice themselves bring a little bit of like earthy flavor and like, I don't even know how to explain it. Like savoriness. Yeah. And then you have the sweetness from the um, from the plantain. So it's literally like the, the perfect flavor mm -hmm. combination. Yeah. So you get a little bit of everything. Even a little acidic hit when you take the, uh, when you eat the beef. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. So yeah, it's really just that good. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Mm. I love it. Thank you. Love it, love it, love it. Mm -hmm. And of course you wanted to see more cooking videos, so here we are. Yeah. There's more on the way too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's a lot more on the way. <laughs> I love having the bagao mixed in with the rice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> Hi, baby. Hi. How many minutes were you Oh, 12. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. Mandalorian. Mandalorian. Season three coming soon. Can't wait. What did they, they say? Um, sometime. I think in December. Don't quote me on that. I can hear it in the comments below. <laughs> we don't know if the video is going to go out in, in November or December. Just, we're filming this in November. Yeah. So. We're getting ahead of the game. Yeah. Do you guys ever do that for your videos? Ever like film ahead so you kind of have an idea of like when you have, if you have weeks there where you want to just rest? <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's, it's good. It really is. <laughs> Woo! Get hot! This is our video, um, biste or Puerto Rican food, mm -hmm. biste and cebollado with arroz con habichuelas y platanos maduros. So definitely go find your local uh, Puerto Rican restaurant and try out this food and let us know what you think. And as always, I'm Epic Dirty Mukbang. <laughs> Actually, we're both Epic Dirty Mukbang. I'm Santos. I'm Madison. <laughs> what is his show? <laughs> And uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And always remember to keep being you. Bye, guys.